So, we got red, we got black, and then each fan is a semiconductor. So you have four in total, and then you have your out and in. So basically, red side, hot water comes in, goes through the loop, comes out cold side, which would be the black side. So hot in, cold out, and then we are probably going to try to figure out a way to maybe mount like a fan or maybe another conductor or something. I don't know. But this is what I've gotten so far. And I think it looks good. Now this is only one part of it. This, you remember we still have to build this and then we still have to build the whole configuration. We have to tie it all in together. We have to tie that into the motherboard and then the loop into that. Um, and then we have to hook up so we're gonna have to get our vertical bracket out, our vertical GPU bracket, so it holds all the stuff on top, so it can, you know, hold the graphics card. And then we have a 12 volt power supply that we're going to use. We're gonna try and see if it will power this. I don't know if it works or not. So we're gonna find out using this. Um, but other than that, that is where we are right now. So, kind of get the idea of it. It's not perfect. All right, what's up, what's up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, enable the little bell icon. Apparently, if you're subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video, go ahead and check that notification bell for me. Make sure that it is marked on all because YouTube doesn't want to share my videos with nobody. Anyway, Amazon sent us some stuff. We got some stuff in the mail. Oh yeah, oh that, that sounded kind of heavy. Let's see here, we got a big box, put it in a bag. The stupid mailman put all of my stuff, all these boxes, like $600 worth of stuff, and just put it in a bag and left it down by the garbage. So, it says that my packages are delivered, okay? So, I couldn't find it nowhere, but guess what? Look where my packages are at. Are you fuck, are you serious? This is where the mailman put my package at. Right next to the garbage can, which I know it's sun's out, so it's kind of hard to see. So there's my garbage can, there's my mailbox, and that is where this guy decided to put $600 worth of equipment. Are you serious? You know how pissed I am right now? Look at that. It's all my stuff sitting in a damn bag next to the garbage can next to my mailbox like right there and he couldn't even go up the damn driveway bro are you serious oh that irks me dude if all this shit went missing oh my god see this is why i got cameras because i'm gonna go back on my cameras and see what mailman dropped that shit off and if i see his ass again tomorrow the next day him and i are gonna have some words because this is unacceptable you don't put somebody's packages next to the damn garbage and next to the trash or next to the trash next to the mailboxes what a dick put it in a bag and left it down by the garbage for any porch pirate to come along and steal thank you so much mr porch pirate because if you were here i would your ass right now I this one open so anyway these are nano lights. Well, they're kind of like nano lights. They're the generic version. Five of them come in a thing. I've already taken the liberty to, to play with it and put three of them together. They're also touch sensitive. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, that's cool. And they're touch. So you can 
touch them and change the color in them. Isn't that cool? Oh, it doesn't really, oh, you gotta press it firm. Okay, well anyway, um, it came with six of them. So I have six now and these are going to, I don't know, go together some way. It'd probably make them look like an atom or some kind of nucleus or something. Uh, but that's gonna go on our wall to add to our awesomeness. They're held together by these little five pin bridges. Uh, kind of like what you, you normally use in an LED strip, just five pins in there and they, uh, they connect in these little ports. So any way that you want them to go, they'll go. And then all of these have USB plugs on them. So that way you can plug it in and charge. So that's pretty cool, right? I like it. It's gonna be fun hooking that up later. Open the box, la 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 la. Pretty cool, right? Look at it, it's HDMI, right? Isn't that cool? Terminates into a power button, right? So this is our new power button for a new build that will be coming up as soon as graphics cards become a little bit more um, <laughs> friendlier. Uh, anyway, it has RGB lights. The whole thing lights up. It lights up blue up top. Has USB ports all the way around. Little sticky thing for it. And uh, this power strip terminates to a HDMI cable. Isn't that kind of cool? It's a power button HDMI and then you know the HDMI plugs into the bridge and then that goes to your motherboard which is pretty cool uh, I like it I, I can't wait to actually use it the the button sounds kind of cheap but what do you expect I paid 10 bucks for it but it looks really cool when it's all lit up and stuff and it's definitely going to go with the theme that we are working on so that is the first box We'll just put all that back. Yep. Yeah. All right, moving on to, let's see what's in this big one. I'm in, let's see what's in this big one right here. Let's see here, can we open it? What's my nano lights doing? Oh, they're just chilling. Open it, open it. Oh, all right, what we got, what we got, what we got? All right, my new tool came. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Oh yeah, this is our new soldering iron, guys. Now this is a special soldering iron. It's a little different than the one that I have. It has a self-feeder to it, so maybe I can Whoops, I dropped something. But anyway, it had, God dang it. So what it does is uh, the solder is on a reel and it hangs off of the back of the tool. Like so, where is the solder? Oh, there it is. So anyway, it hangs off the back like that. And what it does is it feeds the solder through this little tip here and right into the soldering iron. So that way you can have a cleaner solder and it also comes with some extra little tools in there which is that's a nice little feature and it has this cool little thing here this little tool in here this is a sucker whenever you're soldering solder juices will end up on the ground or end up on your on whatever you're soldering so what you'll do is you'll take this thing and <laughs> And it sucks up all the old solder, all that liquid that's laying around. I used to have to take paper towels and dab it and stuff. But this little tool will help do just that. Awesome. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Let's see here. What is this? Windwalker. Oh, oh, wait a minute, y'all. Whoo, this is... I shouldn't be showing you all this, but I guess I can go ahead and show it to you guys. Check out this. This is called the Wind Walker, right? Look at this thing, y'all. Tell me that this thing ain't awesome looking. Check out that, the front of it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice CPU cooler. Oh man, I can't wait to use it. It's a nice big box too. 
The box is in good shape. Perfect, just how I like it. It's dual fan, has like this RGB shroud over it. It's all like carbon fiber looking. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do a video just on this. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to get subscribed because you don't want to miss that. The, the coolers out of them because that's what we're using to super cool the computer. And, oh, I know what these are. These are our electric, right? These are our electric digital thermostats because we're dealing with super cold temperatures, right? And we want accurate readings. You know what I mean? So what we got here is we have, oh God, like that, that really helps. Hang on, let me open it. All right, so this sensor gauge plugs or goes or sits wherever you want it to sit and then it relays back to this little thing and it tells me the digital temperature on it and stuff. Um, and I bought a couple of them. They were on sale. So, and it comes with these cool little acrylic um, housings for them, which is extra cool. So we're going to use these for our setup coming up in our upcoming build. So that was basically everything I got today, I think. Uh, not a bad way to spend a couple hundred bucks on stuff. I'm really happy to use this tool and I'm really excited about these. I can't wait to set these up and use these. These are gonna be so cool. My, I need to hide these before my wife sees them or cause she's going to, she's gonna want one if she sees it. So yeah, we can't do that. We'll have to disassemble these. Um, this is a great video that's coming out. We're going to super cool it and then we're going to water cool an air cooler Which is for a completely another video. So I Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. This is what Amazon sent me. I hope you guys like it Thank y'all y'all be cool man support me check us out Facebook Patreon if you want to you can directly you can directly send me money if you like donate donate a couple bucks to me through uh, the cash app you know, if you got $2, send me $2, you know? E every little bit helps. If I could get a little support from my from my supporters from time to time, because I'm spending a lot of money on all this stuff, and I know you guys like watching me open it and stuff, so I could definitely use your support. Or you could, uh, you can go to Amazon and send me a Amazon um, card if you like, or directly donate to me that way. Let's see, I wanted to show you guys something. What, the little cooling element is that's what we need this is a 12 volt pet right cooler and this thing does super freezing temperatures and we're going to try to hook this bad boy up to the loop too so that way we get super duper cold temperatures oh yeah